Hello guys, Mr. Dandaman2050 here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to put the Xbox 360 back together. Now, this is the kind of the first version that came out of the Xbox Arcade. The Slim's no enough exactly the same, so yeah, you shouldn't have any real troubles. Now, I hope that uh, you can hear me. The, vi the microphone's not that far away, but I can't have it in my hands because my hands are here, and I'm kind of going to be working on the Xbox to put it back together. But uh, yeah, you can kind of watch along this video while I'll put it back together, and uh, yeah, you should be able to do it in a recent amount of time. So we're going to start with this disc tray. What you want to do is you want to just take it out here and just remove the two cables on here, the SATA and the um, power, and you want to get the other piece, which is this piece here, which I had, and first you want to just twist this magnet. Just take that apart into two, back to a side, and just put these back on top of each other. And just like that. And what once they're on there, right? That was my mistake. <laughs> First of all, what you want is this magnet on there. That's it. And then this black one kind of goes on it from in from the uh, inside. That's it. Let's make sure that's on properly. There. Yeah. So you want to make sure your magnets on there. Now you want you want to put in this one here. Sorry for that guys, uh, yeah, so you want to put, put that on there. Once it's on, just make sure it spins, it should spin nice and freely. Um, yeah, so what you want to be doing is getting these four screws here. These ones that you took out um, when you took the drive apart, so just there, look. That's it, this camera's kind of good enough to focus, I think it focused. And yeah, you want to be putting them in the four holes, one, two, three, four. So it's kind of in set them all now and you just tighten them up a little bit later. One, two, three, four. Now you just want to get a scooter over and tighten them up. Pretty simple job for now. Uh, I suppose the trickiest bit of putting the Xbox back together is the fact that you need to get the, well, the two massive uh, plastic pieces kind of connected to each other, that's the hardest bit. So once they're all screwed in, which they all are now, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be putting this back into the Xbox. Once you put the two leads in, so you've got the SATA, and then you've got the power, just a little bit more in there. And if I want to put, put that on there, just make sure it's all kind of stable-ish, and uh, you can get moving on. So, I recommend putting the, the bottom piece uh, I believe, is that the top piece or the bottom piece? That's the bottom piece. Yeah, then we put in the bottom piece on. So basically, just put your Xbox into the bottom piece, and you want this piece here, the actual disk drive thing, and we slide it on there. Then we have a jet button. You just, uh, just kind of lift up where you put the bottom piece on, and just place it on. Um, just like that. Just make sure it clicks as well. You can't see that, can you? Just put the, the bottom piece on like that and make sure it clicks. Simple. Now, what I'm going to be doing and this, there's me just checking if that clicks. I'm going to be getting the, the top piece and placing this on top. Now, this is a bit of a pain in the ass, but Uh, needs to go on, doesn't it? Now, you will notice that the screws for this are actually there, but you need to kind of. It is easier to put the bottom piece on the top piece and kind of. It, it it's a weird way of explaining it, but what I'm going to do is actually put the piece, the top piece on first. Um, so you can kind of put the screws in because it will be a little bit difficult me showing you how to do it, but. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like watching this video, isn't it? Then I put it back together. So you want to be putting that into there like that. It is really tricky, this guys, and uh, I think that's on. You just want to make sure these are on the Xbox like that. It's only a bit of plastic, so it doesn't matter. And uh, let's make sure that, that bit's on as well. Once they're on, now with, with the Xbox upside down, 
Remember these real big screws? You want to be putting these into the 360. So, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. With all these in, just kind of tighten them. Now, I would recommend you not doing these as tight as what they kind of wear when you took it apart, because quite frankly, if you want to get in here again, it's going to be difficult. And uh, yeah, if, if you are going to be modding, then yeah, kind of don't do them that tight. You're just going to make it harder for yourself to get into. So to use the flathead for this one, this is kind of the tighter kind of screw because it goes through the disc screw, I believe. And if you leave my like axe, I will be wanting to get in this later. Just kind of make sure these are tight. And... If you're wondering what the official screwdriver is to get these in, it's called a Torx 10 or a security screwdriver. To, um, yeah, Torx 10. T O R X 10. Now, I believe that one's. For the disc goes up, the pen has to get in. But yeah, no, no biggie. I'm not gonna f fasten them as tight as I want, want them to. As I want them to, and uh, that'd be it, all good to go. Now, now you want to be putting this next piece on. So it just goes on there like that. Then you want to be pushing them on. You'll be pushing these clips in until they actually click. So that's one, two, three. And now for the back, you just want to kind of like punch it in. Well, not punch it in, literally. You just want to press it all together. Like that. Just want to make sure that it's going to together, as you can see. And uh, yeah, all these clips. We've got one, two, and three. They're going to on and pass that piece in the um, plastic thing. That's all and all good to go. And uh, it kind of feels secure. You can, you can feel it a bit kind of like checking it out but you know it doesn't matter so you want to be getting these four kind of um grayish plastic pieces next and you want to be putting them on now the side of just the mesh is this long piece with just like the, the holes in it you just want to be putting this on like this the bit with like the little groove as you might see so the, the piece of like the little groove there is kind of the front it's kind of this side and uh, yeah you want to be putting it on like this and uh I'll just put that on like that. These little holes to kind of guard you where it goes. But my just kind of like blocking them like that. And it goes on. That's it this time. All good. Now for this side, you want to be putting the actual hard drive piece on, the one with the little hole through it. And then I'll just put it on like that. Oh yeah. And then the actual cover. And uh, yeah, please do my please do bear mind if you've kind of forgot to put that spongy black thing back on. Put that on and kind of protect the kind of uh, socket for um, an unofficial Xbox kind of hard drive. Now I, I kind of broke this when I took mine apart, but uh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, there's no kind of springs on it now. But yeah, the last part is just to put this on. It's quite frankly you just. Press on again, not that hard. That's it, the Xbox is now apart, looking nice and solid. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. And then after that, as you know, just if you are wondering how to put it back together, let's put that up there. It does look a bit messy with all the wires. But yeah, you just want to make sure you've got your power plugged in. It goes in there. You want, you want to be putting all like, your portable hard drives and stuff in the back of the SD. And then you're going to be putting the most important the HDMI lead in or your AV, whichever you use. I hope using HDMI, there's less kind of input lag on that. And then that's it, just push it in. And for that, after that, you can kind of plug all other external hard drives. And as you know, me, I kind of refuse to buy in an Xbox official one, which you can't, you know, that, that's the only, only thing you can use it for, which is pretty shit in my head. Just plug all like, your docking stations in for your. Uh, controllers and you put your disc and whatnot. I'll be putting Modern Warfare 3 in there since I adopt guys with Black Ops 2 than what I used to. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And if you're just watching this to kind of see how to put it back together after watching how to take it apart, and if you haven't actually modded GTA or so like World of War, you find them on my channel because I do like modding quite a bit because. It's just good, isn't it? Which are tons of advantages. 
And yeah, it's funny on GTA, just bearing other players. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to uh, like, comment, and also subscribe. The link for the subscribe button is on the bottom. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.